Welcome back once more to my playthrough at the LTC number 28 contest levels. And we are going to continue with the Route 2 ones. So we start off with Route 2 1 in circles by APJJM, or APJ for short. And uh, the rule set for this, uh, for this rule set is uh, a depiction of an animal of our choice. And as you can see here, um, APJ decided to uh, depict a snake here. And there will be another low, yeah, uh, that has also used snakes for the animal. And um, yes, uh, this low I pre tested for APJ. Uh, pretty good one here. Um, and like with most lows, um, there were some hiccups that I had. Yeah, that caused some difficulties, but um, eventually I was able to figure this one out. And this one is actually quite deceivingly difficult, despite having a one of everything skill set. Yeah. And yeah, this will especially be the case when you collect the uh, pickups as well. Alrighty, so we have two buttons here that we need to uh, get to in order to unlock the exit. Uh, yeah, just want to make sure that there wasn't anything else here that might have changed uh, during the pre-testing days. So, two entrances, one at the top and one at the bottom here. Okay, so this button is very easy to get. Yeah, the levees up here can just naturally walk to it. Okay, so, first thing here is that we dig in such a way so that there's at least one pixel wall to the right of the digger. Okay, this will uh, get the lemmings in the top entrance contained, and all the lemmings will make it on time. Yeah, before um, this becomes um, a spot fall. Yeah, long before it becomes a spot fall. Yeah, even with the lock release rate 70. Alright, and then we just keep on digging until we get low enough. So at this point, we go ahead and interrupt the digger with a builder, and he also leaves a builder step past it, so that we can later use a climber slash slider to get to it. So at this time, I go ahead and release a lemming inside the digger pad with a climber to the left. And then, and I'm sorry. Yeah, and then the climber also becomes a slider. Yeah, and then I also laser and clone. So that, that makes these holes here. Yeah, this is important for the uh, climber slider. So he pushes this button, which unlocks the exit. And because he is a slider, he he now goes, uh, he now comes back to the right, and then he will slide down and get the fence to pick up for us. Yeah, uh, the pickups were a result of uh, background fixing. Yeah, due to the background that I found before, they were pickups. Okay, and then he climbs up to get the platformer pickup now. So, certainly the hardest part here was just figuring out how to um, do this part to get everyone to the exit later on. And also do it in such a way so that no one is in danger. I think before I found this, I tried to do some... Basically some timing here. But I think no matter what you do, you will not succeed. Yeah. With the platformer finishing on time before anyone gets into danger. And most importantly, yeah, also pretty hard to figure out how to um, rescue the lemming who... Um, uh, pushes this button over here. Yeah, and then finally I released the um, the others with the fencer here. And this fencer keeps on going because of the builder staircase here. It will remove the pixel wall separating them from the exit. And this is also important that um, uh, you let the climber climb up because he will use the slider nature to come back towards the exit. Like that. And that's it. So, I must say, quite a nice level. Yeah, from APJ here. And especially nice to see another level from him after quite a while. Yeah, I especially loved his Lemmings Quartet pack. And so, yes, I was pretty excited to uh, play a level from him again. Uh, Route 2 the Weasel Island by Amani. Definitely another level that's pretty difficult, yeah, in my opinion. Uh, gotta love these uh, really uh, great uh, weasels that um, Amani made for this low. Yeah, for this rule set. Alright, I go ahead and block with the first lemming here. And then I go ahead and um, make the next one uh, shimmy so that he gets over here. Yeah, and then I max out the release right here. Yeah, basically to create some timing here, it appears. So yes, at this time I go ahead and release the another shimmy here when the first one has gone a sufficient distance. And then right here I go ahead and stack. And then I make him climb. 
Okay, and then I let him walk to the edge of the stacker before I platform. And then I delay the cloning of the platform because I need to bash away the stacker first. Yeah, and there we go. And then the basher will become a sacrifice. Yeah, one of our sacrifices. So, before I finally saw this, yeah, I kept filling around in this area over here to do the um, platforming and cloning. But the biggest problem I had here was um, it was very easy to, for the platformer to get interrupted because of the terrain. And most of the time, the, um, the platformer would not cover both gaps here. And even if it did, um, Basically, you have no way for the um, swimmer. Oh, I forgot to point that out. Yeah, there's also a pre-assigned swimmer here. Yeah, there was no way to get the swimmer down here. Yeah, because you blocked off the um, the the path. Yeah, with the uh, platformer. And most of the time, the basher will also uh, destroy part of the platformer bridge so that the others will eventually drop down here and then into the water. But uh, I did use the a stacker here though yeah but even then yeah that would not solve it because then they would just fall down here and, and drown but anyway yeah there needs to be a gap here yeah so that the uh workers can continue uh towards the right and free the uh, swimmer Alrighty, and then we go ahead and shimmy here with both um these uh climbers yeah one of which is the clone this one's the clone yeah and then we go ahead and platform here yeah and as it turns out yeah it wasn't really like necessary to have the uh, this platformer, um, this clone platformer, take the long way here. Yeah, because he does not turn around. Yeah, due to laying the final brick before hitting the train. But uh, yeah, it actually makes this part a lot easier if, if that happens, though. Yeah, it's just that when I tried it so that he does not turn around. Yeah, I actually had a lot of problems getting this timing to work out because you actually need both of the um, these enemies to make it. Uh, to this area over here because one of them we need to bash against the steel to turn and then we go ahead and make him bash to make a hole here so that, the, that the swimmer will drop down into this pool of water here okay, and then bash the um swimmer free okay and then pop him up this water gap which would take two okay make him a climber okay and then platform up this gap and it needs to be low enough so that when he bashes, yeah, the others from the left side can get up this uh, basher tunnel. Okay, and then he'll drop into this water, yeah, swim across, climb up. Yeah, and then as you can see, there's an open path here. And this is most important because yeah, any other path that he takes to get to the water here will end up um, him uh, getting uh, killed by the weasel trap here. So, by falling from up here instead, he falls past the um, trap trigger. Yep. And then we're gonna go ahead and laser in such a way so that we free the blocker, and that no one comes out to the left here. I guess um, this part could be made easier if I had not maxed out the release rate. Okay. And then um, um, yeah, uh, make the laser um, shimmy so that he gets inside the. Uh, laser tunnel that he made to get back up okay, and I finally bash uh, the wall before the exit and that's it so yeah pretty good level for Amani here but uh, one of the hardest as well alrighty route 2 3 I am the knight or I am the knight <laughs> yeah this bat that um, Itchel made here is the knight and yes, I have two solutions here. A um, couple differences between the two. I'll, I think I'll show up both of them. And then, yes, uh, first let me become a climber. Okay, and then I max out the release rate after uh, the third one has dropped off at the entrance. Okay, and then I send up two climbers that are close to each other. And then block here, and then another climber from this group, who will platform. Okay, and then I release the blocker with a walker and make him shimmy. And the same thing with this uh, lemming who's walking uh, between the blockers here. Okay. Pretty precise here, but um, yeah, it can be done. Yeah, need to dig here, so that it uh, does not interrupt the shimmier. Yeah, and uh, this was done 
in time before the simulator could uh, stop. Yeah, because the, di the digger removed enough the terrain on time. And then, yeah, I go ahead and release the uh, other blocker with a walker and make him shimmy. And then this shimmy right here will bomb. Okay, and then shimmy to get up here on the uh, bat's uh, right, right wing. Okay, and then platform to get to the exit later. Alrighty, and then use the ceiling to shimmy to get on up here with the bat's... Um, like, um, I guess ears. Yeah, they're not really horns. <laughs> I don't think bats have horns anyway. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and dig here. Yeah, in such a way so that, yeah, when the digger is low enough, he will make a hole here so that the others can walk out to the right and get to the exit. Okay, and then I interrupt the digger with a shim here. And then finally make the others climbers. And that's it. Yeah, so, as you can see, they use this digger shaft up here uh, here to uh, climb to get to the exit. Okay, so that's uh, my first solution. Yeah, and here's another solution that I found here, which I believe um, just um, spares um, some of the other skills. Alrighty, first one becomes a climber. And then I max out the release rate, yeah, after just one lemon drops out of the entrance. Yeah, and then this time I send three climbers, yeah, all close to each other. Uh, the third one uh, platforming to allow these guys to um, shimmy on across. Yeah, release the blocker with a walker. Yeah, and then I give these uh, walkers uh, shimmers at different times so that there's a bit of spacing uh, between them. Yeah, first one would dig as usual. Yeah, I think this one was about the same amount of timing, yeah, before the next shimmer would get interrupted. So it didn't make it a whole lot easier there, I, I don't think. Okay, and then here, go ahead and bomb, and luckily, uh, this was done at such a time so that um, the other shimmer does not stop due to the removal of the terrain from the bombing. Okay, and then the rest of the solution is pretty much the same, I believe. Uh, so yes, uh, platform here, and then again use the ceiling to shimmy to get on up here to dig. Yeah, and then I release the others with climbers, and then finally interrupt with a climb uh, with a walker, yeah, or a shimmy. It doesn't really matter. So in this way, uh, you can spare a either a shimmy and a blocker, or a walker and a blocker. So yes, that's my second solution here. Pretty nice level here. All right, and this is one of my uh, one of my levels, so I will go ahead and skip that. Alrighty, uh, Route Two Five, Mobius Dickens, yeah, by King Shadow. Uh, somewhat difficult, but um, it wasn't too bad. Let's go. Yeah, and pretty good uh, looking whale here. Yeah, and of course the title is referring to uh, Moby Dick. Yeah, the novel, the novel Moby Dick, uh, which is the titular uh, name of the whale. Yeah, from that novel. Yeah, if I am uh, not mistaken, I have not actually read the novel, only a part of it. Yeah, in high school. And so yeah, I go ahead and send two uh, on the head here, and bash with the dirt, yeah, which would delay the others, yeah, long enough to um, allow the first one to build to get to the mouth here, and the next one would become a swimmer. So yes, uh, due to the uh, most recent low, having uh, two builders as pickups, uh, this definitely forces you to use the swimmer skill now. And then the swimmer also becomes a climber. Excuse me. Alright, so pretty much the hardest part here was just figuring out that this platform here is actually not just decoration. Yeah, it is actually integral to the solution. Yeah, but most of the other backgrounds that I found were just simply building in this area over here to get up high enough so that one worker is able to get up here to uh, mine the crowd uh, to get
to get up to the exit. But now it doesn't seem possible anymore, so therefore you are forced to discover this. So here, I go ahead and stack, and then one, after one break, yeah, it is enough to keep to make the basher go all the way across. And, and then I go ahead and platform here. Yeah, have him turn around. And, and then stack here, which will get him past the, uh, the ball here. Alright, and then go ahead and build to the right, and then turn him turn him around with a walker, and then another builder to the left. Alrighty, and then go ahead and bash the tail of the whale here. Okay, and then interrupt mid stroke with a walker. Okay, and then mine down to the crowd here. Yeah, this one's not too precise. There's a couple of pixels here of uh, possible positions in which you can mine to get down to the crowd. Okay, platform up here. And then find one last builder to get to the exit. And that's it. So, uh, before I found this um, solution, uh, one thing I kept on trying was trying to contain the crowd with a, with a stacker. Which is all well and good, yeah, because you can still make this path, except I wouldn't have an easy way to get up to the exit. And also, um, there wouldn't be any way to release the crowd later. So yes, um, bashing to delay them is certainly one of the hardest parts of the solution to see here. Yeah, and then same thing with how to uh, get up here. Yeah, although I believe there are multiple ways to do this part here. Yeah, two builders isn't the only way, I think. Yeah, because uh, I believe it might be possible with um, with a uh, stacker. Um, uh, I think just a stacker and one builder, actually. But in any case, yeah, there are bearings in this area over here. Yeah, there's uh, more than one way to um, do the uh, building and platforming and stacking and whatnot. Alrighty, and then the final uh, route too low, route two six, snakes and lemmings, uh, by Nish. And yes, there's this other snake low that I was referring to, or rather that I mentioned, yeah, earlier in the video. All right, so there are several buttons that we need to get to here, and a lot of teleporters as well. Yeah, and and they're all color coded so that you know which teleporter porter leads to which um, receiver. And um, I don't know if these are um, like teleporters in the Circus L2 tile set. Yeah, or at least um, if there is, yeah, uh, at least I have not seen it in action. Yeah, due to the animation and whatnot, when they let me hits the trigger. So yes, uh, there's only three skill types here, but it's pretty much an open low level, and it does look quite overwhelming because of the buttons and teleporters and whatnot. But yeah, don't be uh, intimidated by that. So we have a 99 release right here. Okay. So first thing I do is fence here so that we get up here. Okay, and then here. I go ahead and have the first time he turns around to fence, and then I interrupt, you know, mid-stroke. Yeah, this is enough to get the others around, uh, up here. So yeah, um, this is a pretty fast one. Pretty fast teleporter. So, as you can see, this blue one led to this blue receiver over here. So again, it's very, very easy to, to tell where they would lead because of the, uh, color coding. Yeah, same color leads to the same color. Yeah, that's the rule here. So, fence, we get up here. Okay, and I do the same thing. Turn around, fence, and then interrupt my stroke with a stalker. And then, uh, fence to get up here. So, yeah, as you can see, it's pretty fast, so you need a bunch of lemmings pretty close to each other before you can finally get them past, so that uh, they will pop out in the other direction. Yeah, when they use it. Okay, and then go ahead and mine here, with the second one that was going to the left. Uh, let's see. Don't do anything yet. And then, yeah, fence up here. Yeah, have him turn around and fence and then interrupt with a stacker. Yeah, so now he can reach this button over here. Okay, fence. And then mine to get these uh, lemmings out. Um, yeah, fence here. 
And same thing here. And then same thing here. Yeah, same thing here. So I have him turn around. Fence and then interrupt mid stroke with a stalker. Yeah, so no one got past here yet. But some of them, them will here. Okay. Uh, turn around and mine. Okay, and then mine again. And then mine here. So, turns out that I could have saved a miner if I had mine over here, for example. Yeah, it's a much more efficient way to get them down here. Back over here. Okay, um... So, uh, mine here. Leave us to release them. Yeah, to release them. Okay, and then fence up here. Yeah, I think here I just rely on some cup lemmings so that I have one going out to the right here to get to this button later. And there you go. Yeah, one managed to make it pass. Just one. Okay, have him turn around. And then fence and then interrupt mid stroke with a stacker. Yeah, and then with the lemon that popped out going out to the right, I go ahead and have him mine. Yeah, at a spot so that he is able to come back out to the left later. Okay, and then after pushing the button, I go ahead and mine. Yeah, and then this is the final button to push. Yeah, which unlocks the exit. And I believe that's it. Yeah, no red R, so uh, that was the final assignment there, I think. So yeah. Quite a nice though, and as you can see, yeah, um, ran pretty low on the fencers, but um, plenty of miners left. So, pretty much an open and a low. Yeah, just find any way to get to the exit. Yeah, while also making sure to push the buttons and uh, uh, get everyone um, to exit later on. Alrighty, so that was all the route 2 lows, which brings us to route 3. So, this I will cover in the next video. So, I hope you enjoyed this video at the playthrough at the Route 2 uh, contest lows, and I'll see you all for Route 3.